Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another video for backups. This time around I will actually explain how to get a file manually from a file history backup. So you know uh, you can use of course and we'll show that in another, another video the, the, the way that file history was made to actually retrieve your files put them back where they were Sometimes you just want to have one file. You don't necessarily want to, to go back to where it was, but want to bring it somewhere else, say maybe the desktop. So you can actually go into your um, file history backups manually using the File Explorer. So, of course, your hard drive needs to be plugged in. As I've already said, file history is that backup here on the uh, Windows update page where you can uh, go to backup of course you have all these settings and the different files but that saves on your hard drive in a very easy um, basically all the folders and subfolders are pretty much in the same place as it would be normally in your Windows machine so of course you've got to know where is your backup drive the one that I have is drive E so let's uh, use file explorer say I want to retrieve something from my documents and bring it on my desktop here well go to file explorer click your backup hard drive which I told you was E in my case it might be a different letter for you you see there's file history here you can go to the subfolder so it has username this is my username this is the computer name and then you've got config, which is the configuration saves from different um, apps and programs of your PC. But data is where you want to go. And there's the C drive. Here's users. Here's your username again. Now look at all the folders are here. I want to take a document in documents. And the one I want to take is... Uh, bad password list say okay this one is telling you when it was backed up so bad password list 2017 you can right click on it you can click copy and this is of course an old document that I've talked about in the past for bad passwords right click on your desktop and click paste and there you go you've got your document on your desktop or whatever wherever you want to have it so all you got to understand is how it is uh, saved. So on the E drive, you've got file history, you've got username, your computer's name, then you've got data, and here you'll follow the same. You know, if you compare it to the C drive, uh, let's here just do it again. I'm going to uh, open a second file explorer here. And here, if I click C, you will see that there's a folder called Users. And if you look at the data on the C drive, Users, and then your username is here. So my username is here. And then you continue in. And you just have to find your folder and your file in the subfolders for it to uh, come back. You can take a whole folder if you want. You can right click on a folder, click Copy and say you want to have your favorites on your desktop well here it goes i've just uh, imported the favorites list that was in my backup so this is how to retrieve manually the only thing you got to remember when you retrieve from a backup is that for example if you have multiple versions of a file so if your backup spans many weeks or months of course, one file that you want might have several different versions saved. So, for example, today I have two Word files that were saved. If I go to my desktop in the backup, you can see here that I've got the um, Word version 1 of the Word document, version 2 of the Word document. So, make sure that you download the one you want. If it's the latest version, check for the latest date and time. If it's an older version you want, of course, try to find it and try to remember, uh, okay, it's an older version. When was it the version that I wanted to use? And make sure that you click on the correct one to bring it back to 
your computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Hope you enjoy our video series on backups.